Hi guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, then I have some fun videos for you. There is a special guest in our wits today. I've been talking about him for a solid nine, 10 months. Ladies and gentlemen, my brother, Dylan, the king of fashion, if you can't already tell from this little box that you're getting right here. He's incredible. Dylan, would you like to intro yourself? Um, <laughs> <laughs> my name's Dylan. I'm Sophia's brother, she said. Um, I work in fashion and I have loved fashion since high school. Um, I love, you know, picking my outfits every day and um, especially love vintage and uh, I have a few favorite designers, some of which I'm sure we'll talk about today, mm -hmm. just as we're talking about fragrances, um, as well as handbags that will come from some of those, right. those people. One of my favorite videos to do, as you guys probably know, is my handbag to fragrance. I've never seen anybody else do it. If somebody else did it, it's totally understandable, but I, I, I say this all the time, but I genuinely take my fragrances very seriously, and we know how much Absolutely. I take my bags seriously. And it's like, it's a part of YouTube that isn't like merged as much. And I really will do that and be like, I'm wearing this bag. What fragrance? And Dylan is the king of fragrances. And like all things, as you can tell, we're totally opposite in like outward styles, which is awesome. I'm the minimal, like most basic human of all time. I don't know how much to say, but Dylan has... A, a fair amount of amazing, like, archival level pieces. I'm a little more <laughs> maximal in, a, in some ways. I like playing with color. I like, you know, I just like having fun with my outfits whenever I can. It's so but, good. But as Sophia said, we both like to sort of seek out the best quality for the things that are part of our wardrobes and our everyday lives. Bags and fragrances yes. both being part of that. Right? That's where we like totally merge and perfumes, fragrances, colognes, what have you, are the things that I think we both have bonded over. But ironically, we have like, to I mean, not ironically, it's the same as everything else. Our styles are totally different. This is a dream for me. This is a dream. Thank you for coming on here. Very excited to, first time officially on the channel, but I guess not. First time. Oh yeah. On the channel. Yes, you guys saw him on my St. John vlog. Him and Lucy, who's in the other room, his girlfriend is like the. Key. I talk about her all the time because I'm like, we should intro her Gucci Jackie bag because it's really, really incredible. And they were the cutest in St. John. Shall we get to the first? What is your first bag? A lot of these are kind of like I haven't really taken any of them in, so I will have like <laughs> real time reaction. First bag, first fragrance. What are you gonna choose? Well, we can start with my yellow patent leather Aww. Louis Vuitton Papillon. Um, again, Sophia sent me a link to this bag and said it would be a really great addition to my wardrobe, and I agreed. Um, this is a Look really a wonderful everyday piece. Um, I do like having bags that fit, you know, especially a laptop, because I like taking a bag to work. This is not one of those bags, but it's a really great one for everyday, just kind of uh, your your pocket essentials totally. putting in the bag instead of in your oh, pockets you. um, or having something like a camera or another small accessory yes. with you uh, it's really great for an in-between it's not such a small size that it's only your personal belongings mm -hmm. um, I fit a water bottle in here a lot of the time but it's it's really great what was it I got my puppy on like I remember we went to Orchard Townhouse <laughs> and I was like guys look at this new bag <laughs> so I think it was like exactly three years ago like peak pandemic and I got my puppy on for like a ridiculous price as I've told you guys and then he was like wait a second and I was like you know they come in patent leather right, right? and there's so many colors you also have another color one. I do, yeah. So it's a faded blue-green. Yes. I think the original patent was blue and it's faded over time. So, so that it's kind of a sea foamy green. Oh my god. Which goes really well with my color palette that I tend to wear. Like I feel like this pairs, like don't you see the color vibes? Like this pairs so well with your whole wardrobe. It's also right. kind of shiny. Look at I this, know. like it's actually like has sparkles in it. I just realized. <laughs> it's a nice accent because I don't always mm -hmm. wear 
this color particularly in outfits, so it's nice to either add a new color to the outfit or yes. accent using it. What is the fragrance <laughs> that you've paired with this bag? My fragrance for this bag is uh, Cowboy by Mondo Mondo. Um, this is a fragrance that I picked up rather recently, and um, I, it was one of those things where I saw the notes of the fragrance and thought, this is everything that I need in a fragrance. And it, it surprised me with how it wears, but um, I think that's why I paired these two together is it sort of feels like a, a favorite in a way, something yes. that you'll always go to, you'll always need. This to me wears very grassy, um, but has a lot of other really bright mm -hmm. and fresh notes along with that sort of grassy hitch. I looked at the fragrance notes of this. There, okay, so there's a store in Nolita, if you guys are ever in, in, ever in Nolita, there is a store called Ouroboro, which actually Dylan just gifted me my birthday present from there. No words, I cried. It's so beautiful. The store is very like, it's like the, the match between the two of us. Cause it's very like, it can lean like me, kind of wabi-sabi cool. It has Dragon Diffusion as a brand that they have. They have Bodhi, they have a bunch of different brands. And then, right well, they did at one point have Bodhi. <laughs> And they have a bunch of really, really cool, like very independent brands. It kind of leans 180 the store, if you guys know that. And then they have this new perfume brand, or not new, but I think they added it somewhat in the last year or so, Mondo Mondo. I read the fragrance notes and I was like, oh my gosh, this is like Dylan in a, in a fragrance. Yeah. Look at the... It's a really beautiful bottle. The color the bottle? is also really striking. Literally. First of all, you've got, can we talk about how you've gone through like most of the bottle? Oh, so that's yeah, exactly. it's a good the sign. best sign of all time. Yeah, I think compared to some of the other things that I might show today, this is a little bit more entry slash intermediate totally. um, priced here yep. for a fragrance. So it is a little bit more affordable or at least approachable for, um, for people who are just finding out about fragrances. It's also cool and like unlike anything else that anybody has. And then you have a beautiful bottle. It's kind of the best. Started off with the most Dylan fragrance and bag combo ever. This evolution I can already see in the sneak peek that I have. What is your second bag, sir? <laughs> the Asha Slingback Mini bag um, in a really beautiful dark saddle brown tan leather. Um, it's a really unique piece. Um, it is really versatile and that was what, it, what was explained to me when I bought it is you can wear it um, as a clutch by holding the ring. Mm. You can use the belt or the strap that comes with it in a lot of different ways. I'll typically wear this as a crossbody. Um, I think what I wasn't expecting was that it is more your just your everyday essentials. This yep. is mostly a um, foam keys wallet sort of bag. She's pretty tiny. Yeah. She's pretty tiny. <laughs> you can fit some other small items in there, but it's really kind of just for the essentials. Um, but yeah, it does, it's pretty small. It is... You don't even realize how small it is until because the profile of the bag is pretty big, and it's literally just this pocket right here. But right. means you can go out with it, I think, mm -hmm. which is really nice. It is really secure. I would oh, say it's got totally. a, a zipper and a full flap cover uh, with a magnetic button at the bottom. So I never really feel insecure about totally. having my things in there, which mm -hmm. is great, especially when I have it across my chest. It's really more about the show of the bag and this is a really cool one to add into an outfit. I wear this in a very different way than yeah. I wear my other bags where I might more intentionally choose an outfit and yes. add this into it with a certain look in mind rather than picking my bag as the last thing and sort of something I need. Yeah. This is something where I pick outfits that I want to wear with this which is a really cool thing and I think that that's a useful bag to have in everybody's collection. Paired with this is Coffee Break by Margiela. Yes. Um, so a, a bit more of a modern take in that way, but something very classic, but mm. slightly unexpected. Um, coffee Break is a, a fun one for me. I'm a big coffee lover and drinker. Another um, way we're opposite. I am. <laughs> I don't even drink coffee. I drink tea. I, well, I guess. Our frequency yes, right. of beverage partaking. And daily ritual. And daily ritual. It's it's the ritual behind it, right? right? Yeah. The fact that we get it 
that's similar, but like he's a coffee man, yes, okay? Definitely. And so this fragrance is like, how could you not have this in right. your collection? Okay. Yes. And it's it it leans less towards coffee than I would have imagined, mm -hmm. but it's sort of the things that go along with it to me. Oh. Um, so you get a lot of vanilla out of this. You get some leather notes. Um, it tends to lean a little sweeter than mm. most of my fragrances, but very classic. A taste of what menswear is traditionally like, but with a newer take on it. So I think that's a reason that I paired these items together is they're they're quite classic, mm. but in maybe a less traditional way. I think this is one of your only, or your only gourmand. I believe it is, yeah. Maybe right. what we, one, one other that I got a sneak peek of is a little bit. This is truly a yummy gourmand. It smell, it will smell good on any gender. And the interesting note in it that I looked up, I cheated before this, is lavender. I remember when we went right. to Margiela, we went to the Margiela store, which again, very New York shout out on Howard Street is such a cool store. They moved from like in the middle of Soho to the outskirts of Soho. And I like the store way better. It's very cool. It's very it's Howard nice. Street. If you guys the know that street. Great too. The staff is great. And I remember when we went to go smell this and I was like, if you don't buy this fragrance, yeah. <laughs> so, like we got to figure this out. Like you need it's, to buy this. It's tough with replica because there's always multiple at the same time that I would love to have in my collection. Mm -hmm. But I try to be realistic about what I'll wear. I wear it at least once a week. And I, so cool. I'll typically mix fragrances on a day-to-day -day basis. Sometimes I won't, but. Ooh, um, I forgot that you mix all the yeah. time. See, another way I never have mixed fragrances before, but that's such a cool thing to I, do. I typically will. I'll use one more so as a base and then add in a little bit of an accent with another one. Okay, for your third, what's your third one? Third pairing. Um, this is my Celine Vertical Cabas Tote. Mm. Um, I believe it's from the early 2010s. I think it may be 2012, but it could be a year or two off. You're probably right. Um, so Phoebe Philo era at Celine. It's a really amazing statement bag, but also has everyday sort of, uh, an everyday approach. It's a bag that has a lot of flair to it, but it's also definitely a staple. Oh my God, and totally. the color can really accent at least for me, any outfit that I wear. Yeah, this color, um, it's really like a true, what would you say, tangerine-y yeah. color. It's very, Dylan just got it before I did, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, the main character's name is Clementine, and it's like, that is this color I right. think of. And the even, like, the diagonal yeah, shaping of it. Too. Oh my god. It's, it's just a cool blocking of the colors with the leather. And the handles are so cute. Yeah. I've found out more recently as I've added and removed from my bag collection that I really enjoy carrying a handheld um, tote. So this is a really great piece for me day to day. It This carries a, a laptop for me, so yeah. it's a great work bag. Um, this is also a gift from my girlfriend Lucy. Aww. That's a really amazing addition to my collection um, and a really special one. So I actually have two Cabas totes now. One I got as a little more of a, a workhorse and everyday bag in just a plain tan. And I like to save this one a little more uh, for special occasions. What is the fragrance that goes with this? The most perfect, cool, everyday bag with a twist? Right. My pairing for this one uh, is, again, sort of a staple, but more one that you save for a special occasion. Um, my pairing is Cellier. By Byredo. Um, Byredo has two different sort of collections yep. of fragrances. This one uh, is, I'm not sure what the, the name difference would be. It's a, it's like an extra de parfum. If you right. were to do it in Maison Francis Kirchen terms, it's something similar to that, where it's more refined. It's an, it's an extra, right. I believe. Yeah, so I, I yeah, use... it is. Ha -ha. And I knew that before looking at the bottle. But yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> this one has a really, defined fragrance mm. to it. Um, it's really special. I definitely feel oh <laughs> a bit more elevated when I wear this and I walk out the door in the morning. Maybe a, like a professor vibe. Yes! It's, it's giving like very rich Columbia professor. <laughs> it's 
Yeah. Of like I, a very like intense like a history professor or something where you're like, what do you actually do with this degree? No offense to anybody who's a history major. <laughs> but it's like our dad was a history major, so it's fine. I can make fun of it. But exactly, you're like, what do you like what do you do with this? Right. It's like you're just so, it's just very what's that it's very it, elite. Right. It's an it, elite fragrance. It smells like you kind of sit <laughs> All day in a beautiful, yes. luxurious library of leather-bound books ah. and smoke cigars. It's it, like Love what it. I get the most from it is leather and tobacco mm. in a really beautiful way. I think that some fragrances that have that tend to actually wear in a very different way totally. than what this does. And this sometimes is, they can be a little gimmicky. Exactly. And this is right. super authentic. And just lastly, we got this in Paris together. We did get this in Paris. We've traveled a lot together. <laughs> We're very close if you can't tell. <laughs> and we've traveled, we've been to Paris how many times? We, we, I know this is like so I mean, bougie, but we've been to Paris together like five times. No. I was gonna say maybe three or four. Three or four times together. And our last day, we were like running around. We had a tattoo appointment and then we went down and then I was like, all right, we gotta do one French thing. And even though Pyrido is not a French brand, right. their store is like right by the Louvre and it's so beautiful. And so we went in and we each got a fragrance. I got Vinny Antique, which you guys know I love and the winter months are coming. And this is just like, it's so him, it's so you in such an authentic way. And it's like, by Rito is one of my favorite brands, yeah. for sure. Oh, we have a special guest. Hi everyone. <gasps> I'm honored to be here. Oh! This is my favorite YouTube channel. <laughs> um, please like and subscribe, comment below. What is your favorite um, word that Dylan has said in this video? Okay, <laughs> bye now. Love you. Okay, now that we're red right. in the face, <laughs> got that out of the way. I've saved my favorites and maybe my most worn of both for last, but okay, good. I know I which one this one is. The then. one that's the most fun for me to share is this one. This is my woven wicker horse bag. How crazy! <laughs> uh, from a store called Mata. We were out uh, in Sag Harbor a couple of summers ago for a day or two, and um, ended up coming across this bag in the store and I was teetering to be fair when I saw it. Oh, totally. It was so niche um, and so weird but cool. And Sophia said, you can't leave here without getting that. But hopefully it's become one of your most favorites. It's, it's definitely one of my favorites. It is- Look at the tail. So it, this is more of an art object than a functional bag to a certain degree. Kind of like I was saying with the Ashia bag, this is more something that I choose to throw on with an outfit mm -hmm. um, because it livens up the outfit for me or, or just does something particular with the outfit that I'm excited about. Um, so it has a really small <laughs> opening. It really is a bag. Cavity in the center. Trojan horse vibe. What, literally, uh, but like even just the details of the saddle, like I've seen him wear this bag countless times, but I've never even noticed, like look at the little saddle details. And then it just like, it's kind of perfect. The way that Dylan pairs this with his outfits is like, I could never have that level of sophistication. It's really incredible. Right. This is one where it's really fun if I wear something that's a little bit Western inspired yes. or um, has that sort of air to it to really double down and mm -hmm. have a lot of fun with it. This is El Cosmico by Dies and Durga. Um, this is one that is very desert shrubby to me. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of my friends will comment that I, it sort of smells like a nice glass of mezcal or something. Oh. It has those sort of notes. It's really smoky. Um, That's so cool. And it's really beautiful. So I, again, I tend to wear this fragrance when I'm trying to lean into a maybe more Western inspiration for an outfit. Yes, and Durga, I would say perhaps is your, is like, is that your brand? It's one that I gravitate one towards them. the most, for sure. I think their fragrances tend to be very specific in a really, in a way that's really fun for me personally. Um, oh, they have like it, the cool, instead of like, or you explain, they're like, instead of like notes, they'll be like. Right, the fragrances tend to more center around the notes and create mm -hmm. more of a feeling. 
It's a similar approach maybe to how Margiela creates replica fragrances. Totally. But in a way that's less a moment and yeah. more an ingredient. And they center around that ingredient and bring it to life in a really fun, mm. vibrant way. Love the idea behind Dies and Durga. And I think that the whole brand is just so cool. And it does fit so perfectly with Dylan's style in general. And I think right. it's one of the only brands that you've like multiple bottles rebought. Yeah, totally. Which is also such a good sign. Right. I do. I like to watch out for when they release new things that they haven't done before. Which has been a lot um, recently. Totally, yeah. Which is amazing. They, they definitely stay on top of it. They keep things fresh. Uh, and I, again, like Sophia's saying, I have repurchased fragrances when I've gone through the entire bottle. This is one that's, you know, teetering on the edge of, of needing a refill. Which is amazing. Um, I have at least two other fragrances I can think of at home right now, and I've owned another handful of Yeah! Fragrances. Last one! You guys, I'm so honored. You have no idea. I'm so honored. So honored to have him here. Okay, Great what's your last one? Oh. On the channel. <laughs> I'm grateful to be able to share some of the things I love, again, in the same ways that Sophia loves and appreciates the things in her life. It's nice to be able to share some of um, Okay, this is possibly my most recent bag purchase. That's not normally something that you would like. Yeah, exactly. Which is so cool. Right. Again, it's those like, what I talk about, when you kind of go outside the line, once you know your style so much, and then you experiment, that's when all of a sudden you can be like, um, this is my favorite thing I've ever purchased, and how do I get more? This Aww. is my Louis Vuitton monogrammed shopper tote oh my gosh right is there a more proper name no that's perfect honestly i did just look it up for our mother <laughs> who was like do i need one too and it i just looked up top handle tote so it might honestly any of you louis vuitton like experts you can comment down the actual name below this i found at a consignment shop in the upper east side uh at a price i was really happy to find it oh. at and it's one of those things where I know it will retain value. It's in really good condition. Um, luckily, the leather is holding up really beautifully. Uh, another thing I love about this is how stiff and structured the shape is of the, the leather in the bag itself. It lends really beautifully to... I would say that's one of the only things I struggle with sometimes with my Celine Cabas totes. Yeah. Is they're a little more fluid in the structure. If I have a lot of things in my bag, they sort of expand the bag's size. Yeah. Um, and it's visible that I have a lot in my bag. This one is a little more covert, a little more totally. uh, clean and refined at the edges. And I really And love it's it not too reason. tall, not too wide. Like it's the profile of it is wildly practical mm -hmm. in like the best way. And you wear it so like it's it's just like sublime how he puts outfits together and then adds this on top right. again it's an unexpected for your style but yeah. in like the coolest way i was like i yeah. never would have thought I, that you would go for a monogram bag and it's exactly. the coolest thing ever i was gonna say i am not normally a monogram person i really love when a brand can yes. speak for itself totally and um you know a silhouette or a design language comes through instead of needing the branding to tell you where it's from. Totally. But this, I think, speaks to the heritage of Louis Vuitton handbags. Right. Um, the monogram is really faded mm -hmm. in a gorgeous way. I love how it's less visible, it's less in your face, but again, it sort of speaks to where it's from and how well it's made and why it's lasting. My final fragrance pairing, oh. and I have to say my favorite. Oh my gosh, yes, now and I know which one this is. Day, uh, is Dries Van Noten's Voodoo Chocolate. Um, this, I have always, since getting into fashion, loved Dries Van Noten, um, even through a lot of different design languages and changes at, from the house's approach to their collections. Oh my god. Um, have loved it through and through and really appreciated what Dries has, has built there. But um, this fragrance collection, when it came out, was a must for me to check out. Mm -hmm. And I carefully assessed all of the notes oh in my the God. different fragrances. This is the one that I ended up pulling the trigger on first. And I'm so glad Yay. that I did. This is my daily driver. This is, if I don't have other you're inspiration. Pretty, pretty far down the bottle. <laughs> and, no, and this is, I've already it's gone like through the bottle almost. once. Oh, oh yeah. 
And oh my gosh, that's awesome. I've gone through the bottle once and purchased a refill. They, wow. They sell a really beautiful bottle, which I can oh always appreciate. God. Um, and then they also do a refill pack so that you can continue to use the same bottle that you originally purchased. This is something I love seeing on my, yes. my dresser and owning. Um, and then they sell a, a 200 milliliter refill pack as oh well. God. So I, this is, you know, my first use of the, the refill, but I have another hundred milliliters to use. That's amazing. Um, it's amazing when you find something that you want to wear yes. every day as much as this to be able to invest in a fragrance that you really love. Um, so that's what I've found with this one personally. I think we both, when these came out, I was like, this is, hello, like this is made for Dylan. And I would say exactly as you hinted at earlier, but Dries has been the through line yeah. in your fashion career yeah. for like a long time. Right. And so when they came out with fragrances, I was like, first of all, this is the coolest thing ever. Second of all, I'm sorry, but they win for best, most beautiful bottles. Like, yeah. I think I think there's no competition <laughs> at all. I want one just for the bottle, but I haven't found the exact <laughs> scent that I want yet. Right. And this exact pairing is like, anytime you wear it, I'm like, oh my God, are you wearing these right now? Like, it's so I, good. I do get complimented a lot on this on one. On this one in particular. Yeah. Ooh, it smells so good on you. And it's like a little bit of a diversion from the grassy greenier ones right. to this. What are it's, some of the notes again? It, the bases are sandal, sandalwood and cedarwood. Mm. Um, cedar is your vibe. Cedar is... Right? Sandalwood is your vibe? Sandalwood's a little more my vibe. Okay. I feel I, like I think of cedar when I think of you, but it's too clean? Cedar has a little bit more of like a, a fresh note and sandalwood yeah. means a little more woody yes. to me. Yes, got it, got it, In got a way it, that it, I really love. This, I think, is a very you know, intelligent next step following oh. maybe if you like Santal 33 from La Lavo. <laughs> you guys has, know my thoughts on it. <laughs> this has... But no shade. This has the sandalwood note, <laughs> but in a way that has a lot more complexity and depth, I think. It's it's darker. It's a little bit darker. It's but It's sexier. It has a little bit of that yeah. high, sweet, a little bit of like a vanilla totally. tinge to it too. It's really, uh, uh, it's complex, I would say, and it... It, Absolutely. It leaves people surprised, which I'm happy about, you know, for something that I want to wear daily. It's so amazing on you, and I see why you paired these together. Dylan! Thank you! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! This is my heart and my soul. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for you. I cannot wait to hear, oh my God, dying. You're like the physical representation of like the dualities of life come together. <laughs> same sides, I mean, different sides of the same coin. Right. I can't even say the metaphor correctly. You are welcome here and I love right. you. I love you too. <laughs> I can't wait to hear everybody's thoughts. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Bye guys.